Hi, this deck of cards was compiled to facilitate working through the MCAT style passage, differential effectiveness of cochlear implant. And those are the cochlea in your ears, okay? So don't be salacious. Okay, so obviously this is going to deal with the biological foundations of behavior. The tips of stereocilia are linked together via T blank, L blank S. So anatomically speaking, what links the stereocilia in the inner ear? That would be tip links, as seen here. So these individual rod-like structures are the stereocilia linked by tip links. Normal individuals are sensitive to sounds between blank and blank hertz. So what is the range of human hearing? I'll give you a moment to think. And that would be 20 to 20,000 hertz. And I thought dude right here would provide some comical relief. Okay. Hair cells depend on blank channels in order to depolarize and fire an action potential. So these are the hair cells in the, in the inner ear. And obviously when they fire action potential, that means we're turning sound vibrations into something that our brains can receive, perceive. So what type of channels begin this cascade? I'll give you a moment. Those are potassium channels. Watch the video. Okay, that was it in a nutshell. I don't want to make this too long. So if you want to, you know, see that animation again, just watch this at a slower pace in the settings to a bar. All right, so the potassium channels trigger the um, depolarization, thus the action potential, and the signal gets fired down to the auditory nerve and we can hear. All right. That's, that's definitely an oversimplification, but generally that's what happens. It's a form of signal transduction. Changing something, changing a stimulus, such as sight or sound or taste, into something that our bodies can be perceived via our brains.